Hi right, guys, it is a gloomy gray morning here in the end times in paradise somewhere deep in the Finger Lakes of upstate New York here on this dreary, where are we, Thursday morning, where are we, September 12th, 2019, I believe, somewhere in there. I don't know if I'll get around to a depressed collapsitarian whine or not today, but I've got to uh, get in my gas-sucking and now oil-leaking uh, truck and head up. I'm meeting Sister Sandy from Environmental Coffee House. We're going to meet in a cemetery on this gloomy day. I uh, can't think of a better place for the... the uh, <laughs> The, the, the Doomer duo to meet up and then, and then in a rainy cemetery uh, to celebrate the end times. But before I go, I'm just going to bring you uh, just a, a roundup of We Are So Fucked headlines from Common Dreams. But before we get into that, uh, I want to send out a big thank you to uh, kind-hearted tribes member Green Lampshade. Green Lampshade for his uh, kind donation to my Hambone Needs gas money for his gas-sucking truck, although it looks like it's going to be Hambone Needs mechanic money for his oil-leaking truck. And anybody who has ever contributed to my gas-sucking, oil-leaking truck fund or to uh, my PayPal or to my Patreon account, I really appreciate, the little dog and I really do, from the bottom of our hearts, appreciate anybody who has found it in their hearts and wallets to support what I do on YouTube. <clears throat> And I just noticed I have the wrong shirt on. Don't, uh, we, we, I think the secret is out. But anyway, let me just real quickly, we're going to, we're just going to put, I want to thank, I, once again, our, our Alert Tribes member, David Henderson from Australia for designing both of these shirts. And if you ever want one of these shirts, uh, just send me an email at <clears throat> humpty dumpty tribe at gmail.com and I will uh, send you the details of where you can uh, get your own humpty dumpty tribe or uh, <clears throat> collapse chronicles t-shirt so anyway guys before I head out I have mentioned uh, many times this uh, this, I guess it's an alternative media site. They would certainly consider it that. This, uh, this website called Common Dreams. If you are not uh, signed up with Common Dreams, you really need to remedy that because of all the alternative websites. Uh, I think Common Dreams probably does as good or better job than pretty much anyone else you know that that's not 100 percent devoted to environmental uh issues you know like manga bay but common dreams does a better job from you know what i'm talking about from someone who just gathers all sorts of headlines some of their content is original a lot of their content they pick up from other sources, like they, they reprint Chris Hedges' Truth Dig rants, for instance. And uh, so anyway, I have been, uh, you know, out in the woods, so I haven't checked in with Common Dreams in over a week. So I'm just going to give you a, a short selection of some of the stories. And these are just some of the stories. Uh, I, I don't even have... Chris Hedges' latest rant mentioned here. Now, I'm still trying to remember to buy a uh, another battery for my bullshit detector button. 
But fortunately, I will be using the uh, No Shit Sherlock button on, on Common Dreams. Uh, every once in a while, you get to use both buttons. So anyway, just in the order that they rolled out uh, from Common Dreams, I'm just going to read you the, the headline and the first paragraph or two and encourage you to check out commondreams.org if you're not uh, familiar with them. Now this, the first one uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the whole article over there. That little uh, eco pussy over at Collapse Chronicles, Sam Mitchell is going to cover this story in depth, what corporate media and the neoliberal establishment cannot admit about the climate energy, uh, the climate emergency. And it opens with this, uh, has a great picture of Donald Trump and the opening of this uh, article is, with the possible exception of an all-out nuclear war, humanity has never encountered a threat that comes close to that posed by climate change. In fact, the crisis is already upon us, but the media refuses to cover it as the clear and present danger it is now and the virtual apocalypse it will soon be without immediate, urgent, global action. And it goes on from there, but uh, you can go on Common Dreams and read that yourself, or go over to uh, Collapse Chronicles and uh, let Sam Mitchell uh, take that to a deeper level. Okay. Down the line we go. Here's one <clears throat> originally showed up in other words. <clears throat> it's not about your straws or your light bulbs. Polluting industries want to think, want you to think the climate crisis is your fault, not theirs. Uh, so anyway, guys, this, this article, I, in, uh, <clears throat> I enjoyed, but you know, th this is one, this, oh, okay, this is an example where I picked up both buttons. This is not an either or, it is a both and. Uh, you, you, you know, it's, it's this whole blue meanie argument that is that, 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 that trying to, you know, trying to play this blame game. Uh, is it the blue meanie uh, New World Order global corporations uh, raping and pillaging the planet, or is it every one of us uh, supporting uh, these planet-eating global corporations that are to blame? There's no way to separate this. I continue to go back to 1957 where Ayn Rand explained this to any clueless moron not, uh, not uh, understanding this essential fact that there is one way to put these motherfuckers out of business and that is to stop buying their products Number one, stop buying their fucking fossil fuels, like in my gas-sucking, oil-dripping truck parked out there, uh, getting oil all over the driveway and get, getting me in trouble with my landlady uh, about my leaky old truck I parked uh, at her bed and breakfast mansion. Uh, 
but but these planet-eating corporations, just as Ayn Rand was saying, 1957, no goddamn will that uh, these these clueless morons, these whiny little spoiled brats, otherwise known as the consumer, is never going to stop buying their products. This is one more reason we are totally intractably fucked. All right, but I need I need to move along. Okay, this this is kind of in the same vein. Uh, activists follow the money fueling the Amazon fires. Protesters around the world are singling out the bad actors profiting off of deforestation. This is pretty much another way of saying the same story. I like how they call out uh, Cargill. Uh, you know, I, I'm here just a few miles outside of Watkins Glen, New York, that three miles from where I am is this giant Cargill uh, plant. I don't even know what they, I don't even want to know what's going on three miles from here. Uh, a few of the people they, they call out who are financing, uh, you, you know, all of the carnage going on in Brazil, Bolivia, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, Africa. Here is Cargill. See, I don't even know who JBS is. Don't forget good old BlackRock, Santander, and JP Morgan, JP Morgan Chase. Uh, and don't forget retailers most associated with them. How about Costco, Walmart, and some group you've never heard of called a Hold Delhi's, which owns Stop and Shop Giant and Food Lion. You can go on and on and on with this. One more time, uh, whose fault are those fires uh, all over this planet? Is it the big corporations profiting off and financing the destruction, or is it every single one of us? Every time we walk into fucking Costco or Walmart or Food Lion or Stop and Shop, every single one of us are to blame for those fires in uh, all over the planet. And we know it goddamn well, and so does Common Dreams. Okay, we're going to send this one out to Book Hermit. This came, uh, ironically enough, originally showed, showed up in Oil Change International. Climate deniers' response to climate crisis. There is no climate emergency. Meanwhile, there is daily evidence that our climate is spiraling out of control with unprecedented wildfires in the Arctic, the Amazon, and Africa. And this again is expanding on, uh, on this theme. Uh, did you realize that the political response to the climate emergency remains positively inept with a climate denier in the White House, an Amazon destroyer in Brazil, and a European Union besotted by the Brexit shambles. Even, with even when countries promise action, nothing ever happens. Uh, 
and, and then they just break all this down about fossil fuel subsidies going right on uh, the Australian bushfires and then they look at, they have a link to this, uh, this new study from this group called D-Smog. According to D-Smog, a coalition of some 400 denial groups and individuals is gearing up for a European media blitz later this month to confuse people. Uh, I like this. Many of these groups are the usual suspects who have <coughs> denied climate science for decades. <clears throat> and if you ever hear any climate science that has anything to do uh, with, with what, any of the names I'm getting ready to mention, you can flush it down the toilet uh, if you ever are, are, are being hoodwinked by the Cato Institute, the Competitive Enterprise Institute, and my favorite of all, Heartland Institute. As D. Smog says, all three of these organizations are in turn members of the Atlas Network, a Koch-funded international umbrella body of free market groups. And uh, some of the individual names they really tell you uh, to look out for and run if you ever hear from th th this jackass named Willie Soon. Willie Soon is a mouthpiece for the Koch brothers. Charles Battig, another mouthpiece for the Koch brothers. Patrick Michaels and Richard Lindzen. If you ever listen to one word of the horse shit spouting out of Willie Soon, Charles Battig, Patrick Michaels, or Richard Lindzen, you are being hoodwinked. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, quoting a, a memo from the American Petroleum Institute. Quote, Victory will be achieved when average citizens understand uncertainties in climate science and when public recognition of uncertainty becomes part of conventional wisdom. Twenty years later, the deniers are still trying to sow confusion with their heads buried firmly in the sand. They deny thousands upon thousands of peer-reviewed science articles and journals and our climate reality, which every day brings a new crisis. I will stop right there because the fellow I'm talking to knows exactly who he is. Okay, now obviously guys, take a wild guess which button uh, I would be reaching for. Now the, my, my problem with common dreams is they are a little bit lefty. Confronting the climate crisis, why we need Bernie Sanders' Green New Deal. So I am embarrassed. That, you know, not even common dreams is perfect. Bernie Sanders' Green New Deal, saving the planet. Okay, uh, let's see. 
Uh, how about definition of insane greed investing billions in new projects, fossil fuel corporations are undermining the world's climate targets. No shit, Sherlock. These dirty fossil fuel companies are not getting the message, let alone acting on the urgency of the climate crisis. No shit. Sherlock. Yes. Uh, despite outward claims from the fossil fuel industry that it, sh that it shares the public's concern over the rapidly warming planet, a new study shows that oil and gas companies are actively and aggressively undermining climate targets agreed to by world governments. Anyway, they look at this new report from Carbon Trackers showing, you know, how the big oil majors uh, have invested $50 billion, $50 billion in climate warming fossil fuel projects since the beginning of 2018, quoting uh, report author Andrew Grant, quote, every oil major is betting heavily against a one and a half C world and investing in projects that are contrary to the Paris goals. No shit, Sherlock. And Bill McKibben says the findings of the new report detail the, quote, insane greed of the fossil fuel industry at the expense of our planet. No shit, Sherlock. But uh, we're going to turn from fossil fuels to nuclear energy. I'm going to send this out to James Lovelock and anybody supporting nuclear energy as a... Uh, as an alt green clean alternative to uh, to uh, fossil fuels, <clears throat> plan to release radioactive Fukushima wastewater into the Pacific Ocean, panned by critics. Another reason to not build nuclear power plants. No shit, Sherlock. The far-reaching dangers of nuclear power were on full display Tuesday as Japan's environmental minister recommended releasing more than one million tons of radioactive wastewater from the Fukushima Daiichi plant directly into the Pacific Ocean nearly a decade after a tsunami caused a meltdown at the coastal facility. No shit, Sherlock. Quoting Environment Minister Yoshiaki Harada, quote, there are no other options, close quote, other than dumping the radioactive water into the ocean and diluting it. He said in a news conference, uh, there you go. But critics on social media said the suggestion of pouring contaminated water into the Pacific Ocean is more than enough evidence that the risks associated with nuclear power are too great to continue running plants like Fukushima. No shit, Sherlock. But, uh, oh shit, what have I just managed to do? Unbelievable, Hambone. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I got it back, but we're going to wind up. We're going to change course here 
and we, we have to have one nod to Donald Trump to wrap up this Common Dreams uh, roundup for the week. U.S. beekeepers file suit against Trump's EPA charging illegal approval of insecticide linked to mass bee die-off. Honeybees and other pollinators are dying in droves because of insecticides like sulfoxiflor, yet the Trump administration removes restrictions just to please the chemical industry. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I think we get it. Uh, we could go on and on with this. But anyway, guys, uh, you can find a lot more doom and gloom on common dreams today and uh, every day. And, you know, hats off other than that little uh, Bernie Sanders Green New Deal saving the planet. I will give uh, Common Dreams a pretty decent mark for being a little bit honest about how completely fucked we are. And with that, I'm going to wrap up today's We Are So Fucked headline and head out there to my gas-sucking, oil-leaking truck to uh, meet up with Sister Sandy in a cemetery. I suggest you get out there and enjoy the cemetery while you still can on this side of the grass. We're so fucked. Bye guys.